The global economy is being increasingly driven by Asia, a fact reflected by the region's licensing industry now expanding 50% faster than the world average. Cashing in on that growth were major brand names at the 2016 Hong Kong International Licensing Show and the Asian Licensing Conference. The conference, which ran concurrently with the first two days of the three-day show, featured talks by more than 30 industry experts on topics ranging from fashion and lifestyle to edutainment. Among them was Sesame Workshop. The non-profit behind children's TV show Sesame Street has been finding wider success on the Chinese mainland by working with key partners in broadcast and e-commerce. Kids today are engaging in content or watching shows or getting their, their sort of media um, and storytelling in multiple platforms. So we want to make sure that we're on all the platforms all the time. How do we create the kind of engaging educational content um, that we can sustain? Because as a nonprofit organization, we rely on a number of sources. We rely on licensing and funders to help us produce this great content. And from the managing director of Michelin Lifestyle, insight about the car tire company's journey to success by getting its name on everything from food and travel guides to shoes. By Michelin, we do believe that the uh, licensing part uh, is in fact a brand extension. The goal is to have some direct contacts with end consumer, with the Michelin brand, so that when this end consumer do need to change his tire, he will remind, oh, the brand Michelin is, is the best one because I had some positive experiences with the brand before. At the show, more than 340 exhibitors represented over 860 brands from all over the world. Among them was the Palace Museum of Beijing, which joined the Chinese mainland pavilion, illustrating China's growing recognition of intellectual property as a key trading asset and a chance to promote its rich history and arts as a development tool. The Hong Kong licensing show is a good platform for us. We're familiar with Hong Kong and our products here will be seen by not only those in Hong Kong, Macau and other parts of Asia, but also by people in Europe. So we're very confident here. And for licensees, the show was a chance to set up potential new deals. The operator of Legoland and Sanrio Hello Kitty Town in Malaysia made connections at business matching sessions organized by the Hong Kong Trade Development Council. Uh, we're here basically looking at both established uh, IPs, intellectual property, as well as emerging intellectual property. So we're looking at uh, local, regional and global brands uh, for future developments. I think Asia is following the trend in terms of what's happening in North America and what's been happening in Europe, etc. Very much at the moment on character licensing, but basically it's now moving to sports uh, and fashion, lifestyle, and I think the next big area is corporate licensing. New opportunities to be explored further when the show and conference returns in 2017.